uh, we will learn about AND and OR instructions in assembly and I already assume that you know the basic uh, you can say the logic circuits of AND and OR um, kits okay so first we have the AND instruction so we know what AND instruction does it basically uh, you can say the takes the products of binary numbers okay so the AND instruction performs a bitwise AND operation bitwise means that only the respective bits will be ended with each other uh, between each pair of matching bits in two operands two operands mean one destination other one is source and places the result in the destination operand we know that uh, the result always gets stored in the destination uh, operand so here is the syntax of this instruction that is uh, you have to write the and as it is uh, you can your destination operand and then your source operand and what can be the source and what can be the um, destination here is the correct or you can say the valid combinations and any combination other than these combinations are not allowed like you can see here register comma register which means our destination can be register our source can be a register register comma memory this memory means the variable right because variable takes memory to store so uh, some register comma memory is allowed register comma this i double m means immediate operands means some constant values like one two like this so you can move the constant values into the register director you can uh, use the um, variable comma register variable comma the immediate operands right only these are allowed you can see that we are moving register into register but anywhere we are not moving the memory into memory or immediate operands into the immediate operands right so only these are the correct combinations so let's see this example to understand it better here we have the example in our main procedure what we are doing and this is my you know uh, binary number b means binary suffix so when my 8 bit uh, binary number is moving into the al register we know that normally we use eax register for this but why i'm moving uh, this time in al you have to answer this question yourself now if you have seen the previous lectures so after this what i'm doing i'm calling the operation calling the procedure write bin this means write binary we know that call write in displays the integer value of the eax register and write bin uh, basically displays the binary uh, value of the or the binary number of the ax register or ex register and this al is a part of eax register right so this will also display whatever is in ex but in the binary format like this is my binary number next this is procedure to just uh, move the text to the next line on the console and this here is the actual code actual line that is and al comma this binary number you can see that this is my register and this is my immediate operand by immediate oh you can say that uh, why immediate because you can see that i haven't moved this value into any of the register like this value i have moved this value into the register already this is my destination this is my source so this l is my you can say register and this is my immediate operand so we are following which combination we are following this combination register comma immediate operand you can also use any of these but i'm using this one so and after you can say ending these two uh, binary numbers together i'm again displaying the result on the screen because we know why i'm calling this procedure because i know that my my result is definitely going to store in the eax register or in this specific case al register because when I add these two values, I know that my result is always going to store in my destination. And my destination is what? A part of the EAX register that is L. So the result of these two um, operands will store in L, and then by this procedure, I can display the result on the screen and we know that what and does it basically multiplies the numbers so whenever the zero comes the result is zero and 
only when both are true the result is going to be true we know this thing already so you can see, uh, see over here we are performing now bitwise operation manually like here one and uh, when one ends with zero we get zero when one ends with zero we again can get zero and when when this one ends with one you get what we get one again it means that whenever the one is ended or the end operation is performed with one and one the result does not get affected but whenever the zero comes immediately our output automatically becomes zero at that specific bit why because we know that the result is going to be one only when both the bits are one otherwise zero so this is the output you can see all bits uh, all bits are same except where the zero appears okay so this is pretty simple uh, i think it was nothing new just you have to see can uh, take care of the specific uh, procedure because this is a new one i guess for you so this is you to display the binary on the screen similarly if you have understood the and operation that all is nothing difficult this is just the same as that but we know all operation performs the addition bitwise addition so this is a syntax destination comma source and the same combinations are allowed over here just like the and operation register to register register to memory register to immediate operands memory register memory and immediate operands and we know memory is variable immediate means and direct constant values so for example here you can see i am moving one binary number 8 bit binary into the al because this is my 8 bit number so i can only move this number into the 8 bit register and then i'm uh, using this call write binary to display this number on the screen here i'm oring or you can see performing the or operation on this al that is this value and with this immediate operand that is this binary number this p just represents uh, b for binary which means b is just a suffix you can call it suffix okay if it was written over here it's called prefix and now it's called um, suffix but you cannot choose any prefix over here we only use suffix so when i or these two operation and these two numbers we know that it it does what it does the addition and after uh, this uh, operation i am doing the call write pin which means i am going to display my result on the screen because results are stored in destination that is el so let's see this bitwise that is 1 plus 0 definitely 1 0 plus 0 definitely 0 Zero plus one is one, which means that we can get our result one, or we can get the result true when any of the bit is one, like here one and zero, and we are getting one. And in the previous case for one and zero, in the and case we get what? We get zero. So that's pretty simple, I guess. Um, so uh, you have to just care and take care of this right pin that. Uh, um the result is going to be stored in al so that's why we are calling this particular procedure so that's it for today thank you